An ever-increasing number of places require police to record everything they do. The result of that is some pretty mental footage emerging. Here are 10 of the most crazy videos. I'm really not sure what kind of bizarre events could have led up to this. We see a man surrounded by about 30 police. He's dressed as a ninja. After police start shooting him with paintball guns, he charges towards them while screaming. He falls over after attempting a crazy flying kick and ends up tied down to a stretcher. A man is being taken into court and he immediately tries to escape. The police actually shoot him with a taser, but that's not enough to stop him. He continues to run towards the exit and actually manages to escape. This video comes from a police chase. A teenage boy and girl are on the run in a pickup truck. Determined to escape, they decide to ignore the traffic lights. This video was widely shown to discourage people from running away from police. A while ago, Australian police arrested a visibly angry man. This resulted in one of the best videos to ever make its way onto the internet. You just assured me that I could speak. Sit down inside the car. We're not assuring anything. We're under arrest. Look, I'm under what? Gentlemen, this is Democracy Manifest. Have a look at the headlock here. See that chap over there? Get your hand off my penis! This is the bloke who got me on the penis before. Get some cuffs. Why did you do this to me? Get some cuffs. For what reason? What is the charge? Eating a meal? A succulent Chinese meal? Oh, that's a nice headlock, sir. Oh, uh, yes. I see that you know your judo well. Good one. And you, sir? Are you waiting to receive my limp penis? How dare you get your hands on me? Ta-da! And farewell. This one starts with a man surrounded by armed police. As there are so many more of them, they decide to take him to the ground. But even being outnumbered, he was able to stay on his feet for a surprisingly long time. In this video, a man is pinned down by two police. I don't know if he's one of those sovereign citizens, but it doesn't take long for him to start screaming and singing. At one point they taser him, which only seems to make him strong enough to escape. So this squad car just drives into some kid, 
and the woman next to him looks appropriately horrified. That's the whole video. I just thought it was funny. This police officer pulls over a woman and approaches to ask why she's driving like a barbarian when suddenly a huge tree falls onto them. The car broke its fall and the officer escaped major injury. The woman escaped getting a ticket, but the damage to her car cost more than a ticket would. A man prepares to base jump from a bridge. A police officer approaches and informs him it would be illegal and enough to warrant arrest, but the man just couldn't resist doing it anyway. Richard McNair is a convicted murderer known for escaping from prison three times. In 2006, he broke out of prison with the goal of escaping to Canada. A few hours later, a police officer spotted him running along a nearby road. In a nine minute long conversation, he convinced the police officer that he was just an innocent local, and so he evaded capture a while longer. Their encounter was caught on the police dash cam. You, you live around here, boy? No. Where you live at? Down the road by uh, Pineville. Pineville? Uh-huh. Okay. Do you have any form of identification on you? No, man. What's it's your about, name? Robert Jones. Robert Jones? Uh-huh. I'm not supposed to be on the tracks. No, that's not the problem right now. Where you, what's your address? I don't have an address. I'm at the hotel. We're working on uh, houses and stuff like that. Roofing? Roofing? Okay. For my brother. Alright. <sighs> um. I'm sorry. When I was in the military, we never carried our ID yeah. on base and stuff. So. Our base is different. Yeah, I know. You know, they sure you, if you can cross on, you, you got something. Yeah. But out here, you're in civilian life, you know. Were you in the military? No, I wasn't. I'm retired army. But, um, yeah, in the future, if you're going to jog again, that way, I mean, if you get run over by a train, I know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to start second guessing who he is, you can know. Can you write down your uh, phone number, your cell phone number, so I can have whoever calls you? Just call. You got a cell phone with you? No, hell no. I don't even have a cell phone or anything. Just call 911 is all you got to do, and they'll get a hold to us. All right. That's hey, our quick line there. Have a good day now. Be careful, buddy. Thank you. All right.